when Colin and I got married, we lit, signed up for a registry like most people do. And on that registry, there was a food processor. Someone bought it for me. I was very excited about this food processor. I did all the research. I was like, this is a great food processor. I've never had one. It's going to really make my kitchen life amazing. And then it proceeded to stay in its box for eight years. We moved it from house to house to house and then stashed it under beds, in closets. And finally, last year, I decided I'm gonna use that food processor. I was fed up and moved it around just hoping it would work and I was fed up and I finally wanted to use this food processor. And I went, got the box out from under the bed and opened it to have this moment of using this useful tool that I had you know, invested all this time and energy in, moving it around, waiting for the right moment. And I open up the box and there was no motor. There was no motor inside the box. I had been moving it around everywhere and now I couldn't even use it. There was just like the little bowl that you put things in. Like I've been waiting for years, almost a decade to finally use this tool, this thing that I'd been counting on making my life better. And now I can't even do anything with it. And it kind of reminded me of the do-it-yourself asset protection planning that people do. Because when people finally go to use this tool that they put in place, it usually doesn't do the thing that they expected it to do. They're like, I thought LLCs were the thing. I had formed an LLC. And then now they're involved in a lawsuit, something is happening. And now there's this other attorney going through their LLC uh, detail by detail, trying to see if it actually is a valid one. And they're gonna find so many things wrong with it. Don't be me. Don't just carry around a what you think is a food processor in a box for eight years, not knowing if it's gonna do the thing you want it to do or if it even is the thing that you wanted. Figure it out before it's too late, before your hands are covered in dough and you're ready to throw things into this food processor and use it for the first time. And if you liked my story, feel free to like this video. If you wanna subscribe, hit that button up there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.